Hello everybody, it's me again, Dr. Jim Nardis from Cardiovascular Interventions in Orlando. And we're in the CT room. So this is a CT scanner in a cardiology office. And the question is why? And the purpose of the CT scanner is to perform CT angiography of the heart. The heart is a moving object. And because it's a moving object, the CT scans are more technically challenging. So this is a 64 slice CT scanner. And basically the patient lies down in here and goes through the scanner and out in a matter of minutes. And we usually inject some contrast in an IV and do the CT scan of the heart. So what information do I get out of a CT scan of the heart? So in the past, what we did is stress tests. And we still perform a lot of stress tests. But in those patients where we suspect that there may be coronary artery disease and who clearly could fall either way, negative or positive, that's an intermediate risk patient, we'll do a CT scan instead. So a CT scan has two parts to it. In the first part, we look at coronary calcium buildup in the walls of the arteries. That tells us that the patient already has atherosclerosis because calcium is equivalent to atherosclerosis, the buildup of plaque inside the arteries. And then the second part of the test is where we inject the contrast into the vein. And as the contrast goes through the heart, you can track the movement of the contrast in the arteries of the heart and take a scenographic picture. And you can actually see the circulation inside the arteries and find blockages. So this is called a CT angiogram. Some of them call it a non-invasive cardiac catheterization. And today's technology does allow us to see if there's any narrowing in those arteries. If there's very extensive amounts of calcium, it may be a little bit more difficult because you're gonna get some artifacts in there. But for most of the patients, we get a very good picture of what the arteries look like, whether there's any narrowings in them, whether they're coming off in the normal areas or an abnormal area like congenital disease. We can also get a pretty good picture of the valves and amount of calcium on the valves, muscle function. We can tell about the thickness of the heart muscle. We can tell about previous heart attacks. We can also identify areas of the heart that are not moving. We can identify blood clots both inside the left ventricle as well as the left atrium. We can identify aneurysms of the heart. So it's not just for the coronary arteries only. This is a very versatile test. And in today's world, more and more patients are gonna get a CT scan in a matter of minutes to give us a lot of information about the heart muscle function, valve function, coronary arteries, and aneurysms. We also use it to evaluate the pericardium, which is the lining around the heart. So this is a CT scanner, fairly straightforward. If you're allergic to contrast, then we pre-medicate the patient. Otherwise, it simply involves an IV, the injection of the dye, and then the scanning process. The radiation today is very low compared to even 10 years ago because of the advances in the technology here. So some patients had a concern about the amount of radiation, whereas in fact, the radiation in this test is probably lower than a regular nuclear stress test. So thank you for listening. If you've liked this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you.